What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the Mortal Kombat 1, who's the most annoying tier list? And by most annoying, I mean like who's just the most annoying to fight against online? Like who's just not a good time to fight, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be like their moveset, their mix, their damage output, their frame data, their pokes, whatever they got in their kit that makes them super annoying, we're gonna determine that today. As you see, we have our four tiers here, S, A, B, C, super annoying, annoying, bearable, and chill. Chill, like, yeah, they're just a good fight. There's no problems, I don't find them annoying. Now, with that said too, though, like that, I don't find them annoying. So this is like my personal opinion, my tier list with my experience fighting online. I've over 800 hours in the game so i feel like i have a really good time and rundown uh with these characters I've, I've fought so many of them online obviously more than others and there were times where some of these characters were far more annoying but with that being said without further ado subscribe here for more mortal kombat and fighting game content let's start tearing these characters ashra oh man i uh i don't know if i would put her in the super annoying but she she's definitely annoying she's got the mix to make it so she's got the zoning she's got the damage output like man fight Fighting a really good Ashra, because we're gonna assume these characters are like in their best, you know what I'm saying? Like at her best, Ashra is uh, is pretty rough sometimes. I find other characters definitely more annoying, but she, she's up there. Honestly, the only thing about Baraka that makes him annoying, in my opinion, is the chip damage that he can do. I know he's not as bad as he was back in the day, but him using the right cameo, like Kano, Striker, Cyrax, even Sector, like he can put out some damage combos. And even if you call it all right and you block it all, you're taking a pretty hefty chunk of chip chip damage and that is rough uh i don't really find even like a really good garris annoying I, I i really don't i think garris is gonna be our first chill on the list like it's a pretty chill fight like there are times where a really good garris can give you a run for your money absolutely but i don't find it annoying to fight against and i'm gonna say the same exact thing for havoc now to be fair on other pro players tier lists you might find these characters at the bottom which might make them so chill but in the right hands they are devastating characters i just don't think their kit as a whole is annoying at all i would put them a little bit you know they're they're pretty chill and would you look at that our very first super duper annoying character johnny cage dude. his frame data his instant 50 50s his damage output his easy ass combos he can poke your ass to hell poking you out of everything out of the air out of combo strings he's throwing in the mix all while being safe on what feels like everything it is so hard to take your turn back against a really good johnny cage there's a reason that he won evo you know johnny cage is up there in fact you know what f it can she say anything Kenshi is I would I don't know man they're, they're, this is not in order but like Kenshi is definitely top tier annoying and don't give me that crap in the comments I'm like oh you can just armor out of it you can just find those gaps I don't care Kenshi's ability to get you in a combo with pretty decent mix freeze you with sub-zero or frost or you cyrax whatever get sento out continue the combo do that combo with sento where you put sento on this side of you while he's on this side of you so now when you get up you are sandwiched oh dude I want to jump out of building just thinking about it it's like you can't turn around to fight sento so you're forced to fight the Kenshi but sento's on your back just going ham dude gear has got the bb see but kenshi's got the eiffel tower and it, it is so annoying you know there are times where i find katana pretty annoying but i feel like for the most part my experience fighting her she's pretty bearable like she really is she, I, I wouldn't put her as super chill there's a couple things that i might personally uh fix about her but overall i feel like she's a pretty bearable character to fight against and uh honestly same thing with kung lao there's a couple things that annoy me about him like his armor breaking overhead kick boot move god that's so annoying and you gotta respect it which i know that's why he's got it but i feel like for the most part he's pretty bearable you know a lot of players might put lee may up in like the annoying or or even bearable i find her chill she's never been super annoying in my opinion i'm not gonna lie she's got what feels like uh, close to the longest combos in the game and pretty damn good damage but for what you gotta do to get it out there she's kind of in the same boat as havoc and garish they got the damage they just gotta you know open their opponent up and once they can and once they do then they get the damage and lee may's in that same boat i feel like she's pretty chill i would not change a ton about uh lee may when it comes to how annoying she is is as a character Liu kang is my secondary main character and you might put him in the annoying for the zoning i feel like sometimes it's bearable but you know what i, I think it, it is annoying i don't know if i would truly go and fix it because he's one of the very few true zoners that well, the can zone in the game every fighting game has those characters right street fighter tekken guilty gear fighting games have their zoner Liu kang is just mortal kombat once and people love to hate on the zoners i agree it is annoying i don't find it 
you know, top tier annoying, but I don't find it absolutely bearable either. So he, this is a good fit for him. Honestly, the only thing that really bugs me about Melina is not only her damage output with certain cameos, but doing that kind of damage off of awesome mix game. She can basically combo off of any overheads and loads that she's got. I'm not saying meterless, but I am saying she's got that mix to then do the damage. She's got really good pokes. She's got a really good air game. She's got an armor breaking wake up move. She is a really good Melina, dude. Pisses me off sometimes. Melina is definitely annoying. You know, Natara, I don't have a lot to say about Natara. I really don't. I, I, I don't find her annoying. I think, I think she's chill. I really do. One step, you haven't really fought a crazy Natara. No, honestly, no, not not really, but even the gameplay that I've seen of, you know, pro playing Nataras, I feel like it'd be a fun fight. I feel like it'd be totally like a normal fight, like a chill fight. You're good, they're good, you're going back and forth. You both got a lot of really good tools in your kit. I don't find any part about Natara super annoying. Actually, I lied. If you want to go on the voice acting, we'll put her up here, but, but as a character, we'll keep her down here. Now, I've been a rated main since MK4, and so I will always be a rated main, no matter how top tier, mid tier, low tier he actually is. Back in the beginning, Fighting a Raiden with Kano or, or Strike or even a Cyrax definitely was up there with like Baraka back in the day. Uh, super annoying. I feel like right now, even as a Raiden man who fights other Raidens a lot of the time, I feel like he's pretty bearable. His teleport's not safe, so you can get punished as the Raiden player or just punish the teleport in general. None of his specials are safe, so he's always punishable on those. Like Raiden's kit isn't meant to be super annoying. It's really versatile. He's got some lows, he's got some good launchers, sure. But I feel like his kit is, is overall generally very bearable. I might almost put him in chill, but when you do like the Storm Cell, Whistler and Cameos like Kano and Striker and stuff like that, he's kind of the same boat as Baraka. I find Baraka more annoying for for some reason but Raiden can get there but again most of the time he's pretty bearable you fight a really good rain and even though I want to put him in annoying I actually find it bearable not in the way that I'm not having a good time or I'm pissed or whatever there are some things about him that I do find annoying like being able to set that trap up while you're frozen and then go for the low overhead hard to block mix but I feel like that's just part of his kit and that's part of the fun challenge of fighting a good rain no part of his kit do I find like super annoying or even annoying in general I feel like for the most part when I fight a rain it's a really good and fun fight. Kind of like Katana, Kung Lao, Raiden. There's maybe a couple tweaks I might make to him to make him a little bit more uh, more bearable or more chill. But if he stayed how he is, I wouldn't mind. You guys want to talk on Reiko and how annoying he is with like, but he's only got one really annoying move, and that's if they want to, you know, spam the the throwing stars but overall he's pretty bearable like if you really don't like him throwing stars use sub-zero cameo use uh, chameleon cameo get in their face he's got good pokes he's got a command grab one of the very few characters that actually does uh i feel like there are times you know where he's absolutely annoying but for the most part if you know how to fight oreko he's he's usually pretty bearable he's he's probably on the higher end here he's in between annoying and bearable like i would see why you might argue one step he's so annoying i get it but in my experience i don't really mind fighting a Reiko. And I'm gonna say the same thing about a Reptile. They're usually pretty bearable. A couple things that really irritate me. Like I know it's part of his kit to go invisible like Smoke is. But man, when they go invisible and I, I don't know what's going on, I don't know what to do that, that can be, it's fun, but it's also annoying. Would I fix it? I don't know. That's just part of Reptile's kit in general. Same thing with Reiko. For the most part, it's pretty bearable. Now for the most part, I feel like Scorpion is bearable, but guess what? That's just how I think he should be. But with my experience and the Scorpions that I fight, he's damn annoying at times. He's He's got probably one of the best poke punishes in the game with his 1-2 or 2-1. Into spear, into full combo, into any cameo, into more combo. Scorpion's not a zoner character, but with the right cameo, he turns into one of the most annoying zoners in the game. And the tip of that spear has like a, what feels like a hitbox of the entire vertical screen. I feel like I can never jump out of it. No teleport feels fast enough to get away from it. You just use Serena or Sector or somebody to like zone you out. Keep throwing the spear until it lands. And that has been my experience with most Scorpion mains. Again, Again, I feel like Scorpion shouldn't be up here, but for some reason, guy, he really is. Uh, you know, you know, there's not really a lot that I would change about Shang Tsung. Liu Kang as a zoner is annoying for how he does it. Shang Tsung doesn't really, I mean, even when he zones, for some reason, I don't find it as annoying as Liu Kang's. And, and even when he's up close, I'm more scared of a Liu Kang than I am of a Shang Tsung. He's pretty chill. I, I don't really have a ton that I would be, you know, annoying or want to fix about Shang Tsung. I get there are times where he can be. This is just for the most part, he's pretty chill. My opinion, you need to chill. General Shao, dude. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I almost want to put him up here with Johnny and, and Kenshi. I feel like his, cause just because of his mixed game, 
game and it's, it's, it's being able to combo off the armor to move and like all these things you know what i'm gonna do it a really good general shout goes in the super annoying you got the range for the pokes the damage that makes me want to have an aneurysm the mix to go along with it compatibility with a ton of cameos he can up his own damage at will general shout is <laughs> he's rough dude just because of her zone game her mix game her speed game for the same reason that scorpion is man she can restand you combo cameo sindel is such a great character but you fight him in the right hands and she is one of the most annoying without question not in a really bad way but you gotta understand when you fight a, a sindel like that man you have that mix you got the scream you got her hair pose it's like four mids in a row god dude i want to throw my computer out the window whenever i fight her man smoke in the beginning for some reason was up here in the uh super annoying annoying now when i fight smoke i don't really have a terrible time he has like multiple kicks you can duck and it's really easy to read in my opinion my i, I usually duck those kicks his low mix game is really good you know low overhead low overhead but a lot of times you could up block his overhead and just punish him so you just block low a lot and then react to the overheads i don't find smoke is one of those characters where it's like you could argue you know with reiko and rain and whatever where I, I could see why you might put them up here in the annoying uh but i find them most of the time bearable than anything else so i'll, I'll keep him here i don't really mind sub-zero i think he's really chill i think a lot of people uh diss on sub-zero too much i think his kit is totally fine he's one of the very few characters that can actually control the space in the fight with the ice clone he's got because that makes you not want to approach and that's cool with him and the way he wants to play you could argue his damage is not amazing but he's got other tools in his kit that kind of make up for that in my opinion there's not a lot that i would super change about sub-zero and for the most part he's a pretty chill fighter i like fighting sub-zero not because i win a lot but just because him as a character isn't super annoying in my opinion a good dude you fight a good tanya she's she's super annoying she's got the jabs and the pokes and the combos to go along with it the mix game the armored move the high profiling the low profile and the projectile a parry the damage output you name it man i feel like tanya has it all a really good tanya is almost almost worse than a really good johnny cage they both got parries they both got great mix they both got good damage she's got the projectile though and a better armored move in my opinion so yeah she belongs up there for sure omni man for some reason i feel like omni man is a oh man i i, I think he is annoying a lot of the time but I, I feel like for the more majority of the time he's actually bearable i feel like people like to hate on omni man a lot of time but he's built different literally than any you know all the other rest of the characters no kind of projectile he relies on cameos a little bit for that his mixed game feels normal to me that a, that a very normal character might have his damage seems normal there's a couple things that i might tweak about him to make him more on the chill side but i feel like for the most part omni man is, is pretty bearable quan chi you fight a good quan chi bro you're gonna punch yourself in the face i don't know if it's super annoying but it's it's up here he's got three different portals that once you master as a Quan Chi main can be devastating. You can trap your opponent in the cage. You can zone you out like crazy. But once you want to punish him, he'll just overhead teleport and punish you instead. Oh my God. Quan Dude, a good Quan Chi is, it, it truthfully, be truth be told, it is terrifying. Peacemaker back in the day was up here, was probably number one, okay? After the few nerfs he received, I feel like he's on the, uh, uh, he's, I feel like a good Peacemaker right now is still on the lower end of annoying. I kind of want to put him in bearable a lot of the time. I feel like I can bear with uh, even a, even a good peacemaker. I feel like, I, I, I don't know why, I'm gonna put him up here. I'm gonna put him up here. His projectile game, his torpedo move, that used to be super annoying. I think it, I think his nerfs just kind of uh, brought him down to the lower end of annoying and in close to bearable. He, he's, the, he's the first character where I'm truly torn between do I do bearable? Do I do annoying? I'm going to go on the A tier annoying, but I kind of want to put him in bearable. Ermac, absolutely annoying. And again, it's not because I'm trash or they're better or whatever. Just their kit played right. Oh my gosh. Fighting a good Ermac that knows how and when to use his cancels appropriately and does them very well with the mix game, with the right cameo on the damage output, using the death's embrace move so that his damage comes from his super meter, thus saving himself and giving himself more health. Ermac, a really good Ermac is almost up here. I, I don't find him super annoying. I I'll keep him down here, but damn, a really good Ermac is rough. A really good Homelander, yeah, up here. Uh, that is so funny. That I, I wasn't planning on having a top five, but here we are, top five most annoying character johnny cage kenshi shao tanya homelander homelander can zone you out no matter what get in there with a command grab combo off that command grab now with cameos like farah damage output is insane got lows got overheads he's got it all homelander is dude a good homelander is disgusting and i i i, I would rather fight any of these characters pro style 
than than Homeland. You know what I'm saying? And Takeda, I feel like he's chill. You, I mean, even with my time spent as playing Takeda and playing against Takeda, he's really not that bad. People want to say, oh, every new character is absolutely broken. I don't think that's the case with Takeda. I think he's totally fine. In fact, I think he needs a couple buffs here and there, but for the most part, he's he's good. He's got like one of the longest reaches in the game for his normals and that, you know, uh, there's going to be any, if it wasn't Takeda, it would be somebody up here that has like the best reaching normals now, right? So, but now it's Takeda. So that doesn't make him annoying in my opinion. It just makes him a different challenge compared to other characters. And that's what you want in a fighting game, right? You don't want every single fight to be the same. You want to have different challenges as you go in there. And I feel like for the most part, I'm having a really good time fighting these characters down here and the chill and the bearable. I mostly have a good time fighting these characters. There are a lot of times where I am super annoyed. And then I almost never have a good time fighting these top five, bro. I'm almost always irate and super irritated fighting these top five, especially when they're playing super well. Skill issue on my part, sure, but God damn, they are so annoying. So this is it, huh? We got the top five there. We got nine in the annoying, eight in the bearable, and then seven in the chill. I did not pre-plan this. I thought we might have more characters uh, in the super annoying, but when I really thought about it, there there's a lot of, uh, you know, defense for that for these characters here, but these top five just absolutely uh, take it to the ballpark for sure. With that being said, my dudes, let me know down below in the comments which characters in Mortal Kombat 1 do you find the most annoying to fight and why? Do you agree with this top five or do you disagree? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you haven't already, subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content because we have new videos twice a week and we stream twice a week. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.